Good morning and welcome to your early morning intuitive guidance, which is a little bit crooked at the moment. <laughs> there, I think that's a little better. Let me grab a drink here. My allergies are kicking up, so it's giving my cetirazine a run for its money. So welcome to your early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, and we have a fun card today. Good morning, Peggy. Glad you are here. I'm running a few minutes late. Had to try to catch up on a few things, So, which runs counter to our card for today. So you, the, the irony is not lost on me. The irony is not lost on me. So I'm going to wait till a bunch of you get on here, and then I'm going to do the big reveal with the chicken. Good morning, good morning. Glad you are here. Welcome. We'll wait for everybody to kind of roll in so we can have the, the chicken revelation. It's just the coolest chicken ever. Good morning, Cindy. Welcome. I have the chicken. The chicken is in the house. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Just running a few minutes late. Good morning, Carolyn. Welcome. I'm going to grab a drink. It's allergy season, so I'm a little stuffed up. Okay, so our card for today fits very well with the chicken. We have a card from the Power of Surrender deck by Dr. Judith Orloff, Transform Your Life by Letting Go. And the surrender for today is surrender to play, surrender to play. So just take a couple of nice deep breaths on that concept. Surrender to play. Good morning, Beth, welcome, welcome. Glad you are here. Surrender to play. Why don't you just kind of wiggle a little bit. Take some nice deep breaths. I'm not going to breathe because I'm all stuffed up. <laughs> We've got to wait for my allergy pill to kick in this morning. Glad everybody's here. All right, so we're surrendering to play. Good morning, Lucy. Welcome. Ready for the chicken? This thing is monstrous. Look at this. Ain't this awesome? 50 cents. 50 cents for the gigantic chicken. And, I mean, it's as big as a basketball. I just think he's the coolest dude ever. So, pitch out some names. We'll have to name him. Him, her, whatever. I'm not sure how you tell the difference with a chicken. You'd think I hadn't had grandparents that were all farmers. Nonetheless, there's the chicken. I just thought he was cool. So, and again, good morning, Diane. Welcome, welcome of no use other than to make people smile, right? I mean, it's not like he's open on the bottom or anything that you could, he's just a chicken. You could sit him out in the yard, you could put him on a shelf, you could have him in your kitchen if you had a country theme going. But other than that, no other purpose than to make us all smile, which fits with today's card, Surrender to Play. All right, so here we go. Take a break. Doesn't that even sound lovely starting out? Good morning, Sue. I gotta show you my chicken. Here's my chicken. Ain't he cool? Rooster chicken. Chuck, Chuck the chicken. There we go. That'd be cool. <laughs> so take a break from overthinking a goal. So yesterday I started working. Rody, that's a cool one too. Yes. Keep them coming. We'll we'll do a uh, chicken naming ceremony. How's that? Chicky dude. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. He was one of the funniest things I got the whole thing. And then I, yesterday, after the fact, on Yemig, I did post a picture of my favorite things that I got, which were two beautiful vintage mint green lamps. Five bucks a piece. I was so excited about them. So last night, I actually had a dream about my new bedroom. When I get the intentional community built and I have a bedroom, it's going to have those two lamps. And then I have two little short um, dresser lamps from my mom that are a dark, dark green. And I think it's going to look fabulous. And I'm thinking maybe peach is a contrast. Peach or a pale pink or we'll see. It's coming together. <laughs> so... Take a break from overthinking a goal. So yesterday, I'll finish that story since I've got all these tangents going. I um, was starting my work for my own coaching program that I've signed up for. My coach is out of Oslo, Norway, and a uh, really cool woman and very attuned to how my brain might think. Um, 
just an amazing coach. So my homework was to do the first four days of this Tony Robbins program. And so I started yesterday and actually when Diane and I went to breakfast yesterday, I laid out what I was going to do and when, but I'm actually, I actually accomplished, I had broken it up into very little consumable chunks. I have 10 days until my next coaching session, 10 days to get this done. So I had laid it out as if those four days were going to occur over 10 days, but I actually finished day one yesterday, homework and all. So I was quite happy about that. And I think I'll take a whack at day two today. I mean, it's interesting stuff. I want to um, absorb this. So, but take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. And I'm going to take that word recreation and break it into recreation. Good morning, Helen. Glad you are here. When we allow ourselves time to play, it gives our brain a pause, kind of puts our brain on neutral. And new ideas can come in, new concepts can settle in, we can become aware of much more around us than we do when we're hammering, hammering, hammering. Sometimes you can push against something and it just isn't going to yield because you're pushing so hard. Yes, great timing for the birthday weekend, surrender to play. And actually my friend Kayleen is up here from Viroqua, so she and I are going to do brunch today, which will be nice. Um, but I love this idea. And, and look at how happy she looks. She's just carefree, skipping along. La, la, la. Yeah. So we need, we all need a little more la, la, la in our life, right? Things can get too heavy. Things can get too serious. And again, we're not going to solve problems with the same kind of thought process that created them in the first place. So we need to take that break. One of the things I'm probably going to do today, because I love to, is take my yard art and put it out in the front of the house, in the gardens and wherever, um, because that's a creative endeavor. Yeah, la la la. <laughs> I get to well, I'd rather have this over here, and I'd rather have this here, and oh, these two beside each other would be really cool. It's a creative endeavor. And when we allow for that creative endeavor, that creative mind then also starts working on whatever it is we're trying to figure out, okay? So, and my my um, Deepak and Oprah meditation for today was inspirational me and talked about the word inspire coming from inspirata, which means to breathe life into, to breathe creation into. So I loved that idea. So let's just breathe that in. Nice deep breath in. Breathing in creation. Let it go. Breathing in inspiration. Let it go. Breathing in creativity. Let it go. And just shake a bit. What do you notice? What do you notice? As you get things moving, oftentimes ideas pop in. So that's what we're aiming for today. Surrendering to play. Surrendering to play. It's the day of rest. Let's enjoy it. Let's do some fun things. Let's play in the dirt. Let's skip. Have you tried skipping lately? It ain't the same as when we were 10. But we, I can still do it. It just is a little more effortful than it was when I was 10. <laughs> So have an awesome day. Let's surrender to play. Let's put some things up. We'll decide what we're going to name our chicken here. Um, oh, someone, a little kid just ran past. There we go. There's our, our message for today. Good morning, Mel. We are just about done. But are we are, today we are surrendering to play. Surrender to play. Read the card one more time. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Or take a break from working. That four-letter word, work. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. Have an awesome day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are. Goodbye from our chicken.